Thursday. Today is my day off, which is why I look like a person, because I'm leaving my house. We wanted cold coffee this morning, and I broke out a trusted favorite. I broke out the Bones Chocolate Orange. Yes, I know I say orange weird. I don't say orange. I say orange, like A-R-E-N-G-E. -E. Welcome to your South Jersey girl. I poured in 76 milliliters of fat-free half and half because that is where I wanted it to be. I like my iced coffee a little bit darker or a little bit lighter than my regular coffee. And then I used the dark chocolate espresso salted syrup that I found way back in the day and got Nassim and Jess and Ashley like hooked on. Um, if you guys are new here and don't know who they are, they are my girls. We have a group chain <laughs> text thing going on. They are all low carb or keto. I am the only Weight Watcher girl. I'm very excited to try this. There's no reason it should be that delicious. And you did not see me make the coffee because I brewed it a little bit earlier, went and got ready and just put it in that cup and then put it in my freezer. Um, that way it kind of cooled off and it was like good to go as like an iced drink. So I'm going to take you away from here. I will talk to you guys in the car. Um, I'm going to get some stuff together. I'm dressed like a mom today. I'm going to push you back. Hold on. I'll show you my whole outfit. Oh, I can do this kind of stuff now. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So I am very, I don't even think you can see it all. I am very much so dressed like a mom. I have on a green shirt, black leggings. I have my mom's shoes on and a little sweater. But I really, I like it. And I got this, I dressed this way because I got a new pair of earrings um, from my friend's shop. She is my friend's daughter, but she's my friend. So um, she sent me another pair of earrings. So I'm going to go get them. They are in my mailbox and they're so cute. I love them. Like people were like, oh my God, did somebody buy that? I was like, it's me. <laughs> I bought them. I love them. So I'm going to go take my mommy butt to my vehicle. We're wearing contacts today because mask. And oh, a lot of you guys have mentioned that you love this lipstick. This lipstick is Airborne Unicorn by Lime Crime. And I don't think they make it anymore. I was obsessed with it about five, six years ago. And then I found one on Mercari that was brand new in the box. Did anybody else just see that floaty? I did. Um, and I bought it and I keep forgetting I have it. And then I put it on twice this week. Ooh, there's a wire there. Uh, I put it on twice this week and I love it. So that is, that is what this is. I'm going to go, I'm going to go. I'm obsessed. These are fantastic. Fantastic. I mean, I love these so much. Um, I will leave a link to Jesse's shop in the description box down below. Uh, because I can. Do I want to wear the Ow. Do I want to wear these today? We'll wear these. These seem a little bit more fierce. Or do I want to wear, hold on. Eh. Side note, I also brought an Alani new, mimosa flavored. Because that's what I need, more caffeine. Okay, you ready? Let's see. Oh, these go more. We'll wear these. I will leave a, con a, a link to Jessie's shop. They are called Orange Cat Crafts, I believe. This is her little card, because she has a little cat named Peach. Um, but like she sends like, like she gave me a little note and then like a little thing, like a little description of the reason that they're named what they are. It is, it's orange cat with two T's crafts dot Etsy dot com. I'll leave a link down below. I'm obsessed with her earrings. Like they're so stinking cute and I love her. Like she's just the sweetest thing and she really likes my deviled eggs. So <laughs> that works out. Like she was disappointed at Christmas. She was like, you don't have deviled eggs? I'm like, they came out funky. She's like, oh, I understand. And it helps support like a small business. I am all about small businesses. Um, a lot, like so much of my stuff has come from Etsy for the wedding. 
my bridesmaids gifts, 90% of it. My invitations, the RSVP cards, the save the date cards, the stickers, the stamp for the card, because uh, I have an address stamp. That came from Etsy. We are doing, we're, we're I, I flat out just took the idea from my brother and sister-in-law. Um, since we're doing open bar, we're gonna do cups that just say Mr. and Mrs. with our last name and then the, oh my God, I just said our last name. That's so weird. Uh, with the date of the wedding underneath of it. Cause like, then you can just reuse your cup all night. It's not wasteful. And you have a little souvenir. Cause like, I hate going to those weddings where like you get a bottle of bubbles. But who's gonna, who? Who is going to use that? Like they get just get thrown out, it's a waste of money for me. Um, so we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it that way. Um, that came from Etsy. I feel like other things have come from Etsy that are wedding related. But I can't think off the top of my head right now. I'm all about supporting small businesses, especially ones that are just starting. Like she needs a little, she needs a boost. You know what I mean? She's in college, she needs to do her thing. So go check her out. There's not a lot of products because again, just starting and she is making them all by hand. My coffee is delicious. I have yet to figure out the points only because uh, I went to use the app and the app was just being wonky so I closed it and then I left the house. That better not be a scratch in my windshield. Nope, nope, that's bird poop. I'll probably wash my car at some point. I haven't washed my car in forever. Let's go do it now. Last night, so the barbecue chicken cups work. The chicken didn't have a lot of flavor even though I salt, peppered, and honey barbecue seasoned the crap out of it. Um, there wasn't a ton of flavor to the actual meat. The sauce was great. And then the provolone cheese really worked for what I used it for. I did a half a slice on each cup. So I used two, two slices in total and then the corn and it worked. It was beautiful. Fantastic. Loved it in my mouth. But Dave was right. He's like, this will work on a pinch, but they are definitely way better with beef. So you could still do it leaner. So if you did like 97, 3% ground beef or 93, seven, whatever it is, um, you could totally do that. I just didn't have it. Oh my God. Ugh. okay. I just didn't have that beef. I'm still going through. I think I have two or three pounds left of the 8515 and I may still continue to buy it because it's still $5 a pound, which I don't think is bad. But if you're, if you are on a plan where chicken, like ground chicken is zero points, then this could definitely work because I was able to break those muffins in half. It was more than enough to hold the, the meat and the cheese together. And each muffin was three points. So that's, if you use the G Hughes barbecue sauce, fat-free cheese and ground chicken or ground turkey where it's zero points, dude, you can have four of them for seven points because two of the muffins is seven points. That's impeccable. I will not buy fat-free shredded cheese. I won't do it. You can't make me. But I would really, really, really recommend those things. They're so good. We're going to have some sort of chicken tonight. I might do the... Uh, chicken cordon bleu and broccoli cheddar chicken things that I bought the other day. Uh, or I may do something in the slow cooker. I don't know. I have not decided yet. I have a long day ahead of me and I woke up late. Like it's 20 to 12 and I wanted to be on the road like an hour ago. Hold please. Please select it. You are now ready to enter the car wash. I am. I am ready. I'm going to turn you around. You can watch the car wash. done and I had to distract myself because I don't like it when it feels like water's going to my face. <sighs> I can't stop looking at these earrings. I love them. <laughs> like I, I love these and I know she's making like a circular version. I just saw her post on Instagram. Anyway, um, yeah. So last night we were talking about the, the barbecue beef cups. I had those. I had a built bar. Um, I had the white chocolate coconut. It's going to be a sad day when those things are gone. A very sad day. And I think I have like two left. Um, 
but because I did a, a multi-pack where I got to pick six of like three different flavors. So I did the coconut white chocolate, the chocolate orange, and the chocolate cherry. So it's called Cherry Barcia, which is really good. I like it a lot. Um, it's a little robitussin -y, but like I don't mind that. So I had that. And then I had four points remaining because I also had... Uh, two more of the seltzers. I had the, I had one of each flavor. So I had the spicy pineapple. I had the, uh, hold on. This is a, like a wonky ass. Okay. So yeah, I had the spicy pineapple. Okay. You just keep on going. Um, so I had the spicy pineapple. I had the cucumber lime. And then I also had one that was mango pear peach pear peach pear I believe is the other one uh so I had one of each and all three of them were seven points and I was totally fine with dropping seven points on those and what I really liked was the fact that I wasn't running the risk of being kicked out of ketosis by enjoying an alcoholic beverage because that is something that you risk when you are keto and you have alcohol is you run that risk you run the, the chance of that alcohol kicking you out of ketosis, which I took that risk, not often, but I did. Um, and I was always in ketosis within 24 hours, but the fact that I don't need to get my body into ketosis with this is fantastic. I haven't pricked my finger in like forever. It's great. I'm loving life. And then I walked by and I had put a bunch of Reese's peanut butter cups in Dave's stocking and he still has when I put the stockings away the other day, because I did finally, the house is like 95% de-Christmased. But uh, when I put everything away, I dumped the candy out of the stocking into like a little plastic bowl. And I walked by and I grabbed three of them. And when I went to put them into the Weight Watchers app, it was six points for three of them. I gave him one back and I was like, I'm going to eat two. And I had two mini Reese's peanut butter cups and... I was super satisfied. Like I, he kept offering me like, are you sure you don't want the third one? And I was like, I'm good. Like I'm, I'm a okay with just the two and that fucking balance. I ate all of my points yesterday. Now granted I did drink some and I'm okay with drinking points to an extent, but it just, it, I was so thrilled. I was so thrilled. I still have 48 weekly points because I used rollover points. I just realized my, mirrors all jacked up from the thing. Hold on. Um, but I used the rollover points and it gave me like all the weeklies I used the other day back, which is great. Where am I going? Whole Foods. Uh, so like I'm really, I'm enjoying it and I don't think I've lost a lot of weight this week. I think I, if I lose anything, it'll be like a pound. If that, I'd be very surprised if it was more very surprised but today is the day before weigh-in so I'm gonna keep it on the lighter end I'm gonna try to eat the majority of my points earlier in the day stop eating by about 8 o'clock and then get a good night's rest wake up tomorrow morning and weigh in I have to be at work at 9 tomorrow morning so it'll be an early weigh-in and I'm okay with that I am however going to let you guys go so I can drive I'm gonna enjoy my coffee and then uh, I'm gonna go buy some produce because I am down to like one banana and a pineapple and I think that pineapple probably has to be thrown out. So, I'll see, I might go into Costco and get ground beef. I haven't decided yet. I just left Whole Foods, I got a Topa Chico cause it is delicious. I really like it. <laughs> so I got another one. Uh, oh, I still have coffee left. Mm. I left spending only $19. I got a thing of cotton candy grapes. I've gone through so many grapes. Uh, I got, because you know why I'm going through grapes? Because like a cup of grapes is half a pound of grapes. So like one thing of grapes is lasting me two days. It's ridiculous. Um, I got cotton candy grapes. I got a big thing of I think they're called like wild flower or wild, they're wild something tomatoes and they're multicolored. I love multicolored tomatoes. Yellow tomatoes are delicious. The purple tomatoes are delicious. I love them. Uh, but I grabbed those. I grabbed a Topa Chico and I grabbed a thing of chocolate pizzelles because I want to make like the Weight Watchers ice cream sandwich, which is just 
Ready Whip and the Pitzels because those sound delicious. And I got chocolate. Uh, five or five or six points for five or six cookies, I think. So that'll be a nice little a nice little treat because I went to scan the Skinny Cow ice cream sandwiches because I remember like them being like the thing back in the day. Oh, hold on, I have to cough a lung up. Sorry, that was like a really bad tickle. Uh, I remember them being like a super good thing back in the day and they're like six or seven points for whatever I scanned. And I was like, uh, no sis, no thank you. But the Patel ice cream sandwiches are a thing. I saw them on, on Weight Watchers TikTok because that's a thing too. I was unaware of the Weight Watcher TikTok. Really contemplating getting some stuff. I was gonna get the pre-cut pineapple, but it was $16 for like two pounds. And I was like, you know what? I just bought a crap ton of canned pineapple at... Costco the other day. I'm not going to do that again. So I put that back and then I found a little thing of like coconut meat with mango and I was like, ooh, this could be good. Thinking coconut was zero points. It's not. So I put that back because I was not about to be spending four points on some coconut meat. Uh, but that's all I got. I was very impressed with myself. So now I am going to go to Costco uh, just to see what their deal is with meat um, and try to figure it out. The, the meat that I normally get, like I said, is probably about 85.15 and it is $150 for 20 pounds. Or is it $100 for 20 pounds? It's $100 for 20 pounds. So if I can get a similar deal on a less fat version of ground beef, then I am all about that life. I almost bought 90.10 at Whole Foods. It was $6.99. But I'm thinking I can get a better deal at Costco. So that is where we're going to go. I did text Erin uh, or messaged her and I was like, hey, I think I might get Zoe's for lunch because I was in the parking lot of Zoe's Mediterranean and she's like, I've never had it. What is it? And I told her what it was and then like I was leaving Whole Foods. I'm like, you know what? I'm not, I'm not hungry. It's 1245. I'm not hungry. So there's no reason for me to go get it because I'm here. And I'm very proud of myself for that because normally I would just go get it. Now we'll see how I feel after I go to Costco. Uh, there is a Panda Express in that parking lot, I believe, and I think their orange chicken is only like nine points. And uh, I'm kind of here for that. So <laughs> we'll see how I go. I am going to drink my energy drink. Uh, clearly, I don't need it, but I want it. It's zero points. So I'm going to enjoy that, drive to Costco, and if I get anything fun and fancy, I'll definitely let you know. Um, I will at least let you know about the, the ground beef, but I'm not going to do a haul or anything because it's not that kind of a trip. Okay, so I am done my excursion for the day. I am gonna run and pick up my lunch because I did get a little bit hungry while I was at Costco. However, it is not a Panda Express that is in that parking lot. It is a Panda Palace, which is a Chinese buffet. No, thank you. I decided to place a DoorDash order for sushi because one, sushi is relatively low in points. Uh, and two, I have not had good sushi in a minute. In a minute. And I love a good sushi roll. So I ordered the lunch special from a local place. Uh, it is, a, I just got a tuna roll and then a spicy tuna roll. I will weigh it when I get home uh, because that is like the only true way. Because like everything in the, the Weight Watchers app is like, my order's ready. <laughs> I literally placed it less than five minutes ago. Uh, in the app, it's always like, oh, one roll, two inches thick and, and, and a half an inch. No. Talk to me and wait. Tell me how many ounces of this shit I can have. So when I get home, I'll weigh it out. I also got a small side salad with ginger dressing. So I'll assess the ginger situation. They usually put it on the side. It's usually probably about two tablespoons. And I believe from my old Weight Watcher days, it's probably two or three tables or two or three points for the serving. And then of course, zero points for the salad itself. Uh, I will obviously show you that when I am good to go. I, of course, much like last time, did not have signal inside of Costco. So I blind bought one thing and one thing. Well, two things. But the one thing is kind of like standard. Uh, I purchased razors because I realized today that I needed them. So that was a quick $18, but I got 15 razors. Uh, I got a thing of cherries because they were less money than they were last time. So I grabbed them. Bananas. The mashed potatoes, I got two things of mashed potatoes, and then 
I grabbed a thing of lobster dip. Looking at the macros, I'm thinking, why is my phone ringing? So looking at the macros, I am thinking that it is probably three points for two tablespoons, but I'm okay with that. And it's a big ass thing of dip. So we have that. Uh, and then I got 8812 ground beef and it was $23 for just about six pounds. So uh, also good, it was $3.79 a pound. So win for me. When I get home, I will separate into just under a pound servings because Dave and I don't tend to go through a full pound um, with what I make for dinner. So we'll we'll do that. Um, and yeah, I think I think I did pretty well. Uh, I will let you guys know what I have, or I won't let you know what I have. I will show you the sushi. But I'm going to go home, have that, watch an episode of Jane the Virgin. I am on chapter 29, I think. Um, this show is adorable. It's like a not telenovela. And I know stuff. Like, I looked the show up. So, like, I know spoilers. Like, I know who she winds up with the whole nine. But I still want to see the story as to how they get there. And I still just think it's absolutely adorable. Like, it is just the cutest little show. But can I ask a question? And this is nothing against the actor that plays Michael. He's supposed to be like this uber good looking, uber hot guy. I don't understand. I personally do not find him attractive. <laughs> like, I mean, he's cute, but like if, he, if I were single and he asked me out, I'd probably say no thank you. Am I wrong in that? I think it's his mouth. Some food for thought, but I'm gonna uh, drive and listen to some, some good old DMB and I'll talk to you soon. All right, lunch. As predicted, three points for the salad dressing. It's an ounce. I want to shake that up. Yummy, yummy. Eight points for the spicy. Three points for the regular. So excited to put this in my mouth face. The invitations came in. Okay, hi, so I am cooking dinner. I am making these. So I am cooking both for him, both for me. I will have mine one tonight, one tomorrow night, probably. Let's get out of the shower. I just haven't washed my face yet. I'm having another spicy pineapple with a little ultra for two points. Because if there was any time to like drink points, it's now. My points reset tomorrow. <sighs> I ran the glass with lime juice and then I used a little bit of this Spiceology smoked paprika or smoked maple seasoning to give it a little bit of a kick since it's supposed to be spicy and it's not. Let's try. <laughs> well, that made it way better. I will show you dinner when it happens. Oh, and I made these. So I told you I got the pizzelles at Whole Foods and I had whipped cream. So I made little Weight Watcher ice cream sandwiches. So six of the cookies, five of the cookies was five points. And then I think I used like four points of whipped cream between the two. And I've had one already and I ate like the spare cookie. So um, before or after all that is counted, I have 18 points left. This will make 16. Each one of those is seven and we're gonna have green beans. No starch or anything, cause I don't feel like making it. And I'm gonna sit because I don't feel great. It feels like my sugar's really low. I know it's not. That's just kind of how it feels. So I'm going to sit and relax and uh, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Actually, I'll show you guys dinner. Dinner. I'll show you dinner. So this is my very strange dinner. So I have the chicken cordon bleu thing. This is six points, not seven, I thought. So six points. Two ounces of the lobster dip I bought at Costco today. 16 reduced fat wheat thins. This is the dip that I bought. And it's really delicious. So I'm going to go and eat this and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I have two points left, I think. I think I might have another beverage of the alcoholic variety.